Hello friends, in this video we are going to be looking at how we can soften skin in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is Twisted Creative, I'll be managing my name. If it's your first time on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not just hitting that subscribe button, also ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video. Without wasting much time, let's get into it. This clip I'm going to be using and I've already selected the in point and out point that I want to use. So I have to grab just the video because we are not after the audio right now so we are going to be doing just the video so i have just a video clip here so the next thing we do is we go to adjustment layer you see this stuff here this icon here it's a new item so if you click on this item then we'll pick adjustment layer we'll have the frame rate then we we'll have to hit ok then we can pick the adjustment layer down to the top of this stuff like this Let's just make them uniform, okay? We are going to be dragging this. Okay, let's reduce the size of the adjustment layer. The reason why I reduce the size of this adjustment layer so that we'll be able to see the before and after. Okay, let's go to our project and let's zoom in also so that we'll be able to see the face very well. Let's click on this arrow here and choose, uh, at least 75% should be okay. Then we can adjust by moving it from here so we are only concerned about this face now we have it very sharp and we still have it not soft enough as you know what we mean by softening face let's select the adjustment layer and go to effects then we can look for lumetric colors lumetric colors then if you type in there and go down you will find it here just drag it and drop it onto the adjustment layer we can switch from this editing now to color. Let's go to color. In this panel, when you are not after basic correction, neither creative curves or color we match, we are going to be using HSL secondary. So if you click on it now, you will notice we have some color adjustment here. We have eyedropper tools here. Pick your eyedropper tool and go to your image and click wherever you want it. You will have some part of this area selected initially it was not arranged like this but after selecting that area we notice we have this orange color area selected it's going to be focused on these orange colors the next thing we are going to be doing now is let's check this boss let's check it so we are having it on color stroke gray then i like using it on color stroke black so we have to change it so as you can see now, we have it black and this color. How can we understand what is going on here? If you take a look at this, you notice that we have some areas selected. Those areas that are black are the areas that are not selected. If you're adding blurriness, it's not going to affect these blacks anywhere you find black. But it's going to affect anywhere you find this color. You can edit the selection by adjusting all these so the adjustment will determine the area you selected so as you are adjusting it's going to be moving inside but as you can see the eyes area is very black very black so that is to tell you that it's not going to affect the eyes area so you are going to make sure the eye is not going to be visible so i think it's okay like this for that for the lightness then the saturation we have to increase it a little then i think it should be okay like this then the hue the hue if i should if you ask me i'm going to bring it back a little let it leave the green area and so i think it's okay like this before it starts reducing the sharpness or making any adjustment, then you can go to this area and there's no point using the noise. This blur here is, is the transition between the selected area and non-selected area. The selected area and the non-selected area we have to give it a little transition to blend very well. So that is going to be this blur. I think like 1.4 should be okay. Then we'll go down here, the way you see temperature, tint, contrast, sharpness, and saturation. We have to reduce the sharpness. 
So we are selectively reducing the sharpness of those areas selected, which is the orange color, which represents our skin tone. So we are going to reduce it like so. We are just reducing it and we are not seeing the effect. For you to see the effect, you have to uncheck this box here so as to be able to remove it from this color stroke black. Then if you click here, you notice the image is open for you to be able to see it very well. If you take a look at it now, you notice that a great job has been done. You look at the girls, you will see that their face is very, very smooth now. Okay, let's see the before and after. Let's see the before and after. You can also add the blurriness by reducing the sharpness to the ending, depending on how you want it. Depending on how you want it. But if it's too much on your image, you can always take it forward a bit and leave it somewhere here. At least like minus 86.4 should be okay. Let's see the before and after. The only way we can see the before and after is we are going to move back to remove it from the adjustment layer. So we are here now out of the adjustment layer. Look at the face. This is before. Then if we enter the adjustment layer, you will see the after. This is before and this is after. This is before and this is after. You see the transition? This is before and this is after. We are going to pre-render it so that it's going to play smoothly. So let's hit OK for that. So, have you seen it? Okay, let's see the transition from here. As it rolls from here to here, you will see the transition. Let's play. Look at it. Isn't that amazing? Let's play continuously. Let's play. Look at it. Isn't that amazing? Look at it. Isn't that amazing? Yes, that is it on how to soft thin face in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you find it interesting, helpful, and useful, let us know in the comment section telling us the area it has helped, the area it has not, and the area it would have helped. Like I said earlier, if you are new on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not just hitting that subscribe button, also ring down the description bell so that you don't miss any of the next video. Thanks for watching today's video. Creative people, keep on creating. Please stay creative. Keep creating. Bye for now. See you in the next one.